Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So today you guys, so today you guys were out in my office and I'm going to be adding some wallpaper. I wanted to add in a pop of color somewhere or just add in an accent feature in my office just to kind of jazz up the boring white walls as you can see. So this wall here is what we're gonna be working on in today's video. So I partnered up with Ever Wallpaper to to add a beautiful mural to this wall so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video so every wallpaper makes custom wallpaper and murals so you do have to have the measurements of your particular wall that you want to do and they just have some beautiful prints on there stuff that you wouldn't find normally in a regular store everything is custom and then they have some beautiful wall features that you can add to your wall so i chose my picture my piece is called cracked earth is really neutral it has some really clean lines in it and it just adds a really nice modern elegant vibe to the space so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video so my wallpaper that i'm adding today is um you do have to add glue now they do have some peel and stick options but i chose to use glue because my wall has this texture on there so i think it'll hold up over time a lot better in this space so yes yeah, so i'll have all of ever's wallpaper information linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested if this is the first time seeing me hey y'all my name is trina i love to do a lot of decorating on the channel i also do a lot of organization and cleaning so if you enjoyed that i would love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family and to all my beautiful subscribers hey y'all thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video so okay you guys so it's been a while since i updated y'all on this office i hope y'all seen my last video where i did show you guys the overall space and the finished space so now i'm just kind of trying to go in here and add a little bit more decor i do plan on adding a tv out here i also want to add a beverage fridge and all that stuff as well but i'm just taking my time and then i'm just trying to um add a little bit as i go so i hope y'all seen the last video if you haven't seen the last office update video i'll link it up in the cards or link it at the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and watch that and kind of get an overall feel of the space and what I where I'm in so far in the video but today we're going to be applying this wallpaper hopefully it turns out nice and hopefully it turns out it adds a beautiful feature wall to my space so let's get started you guys so for this project you really don't need a lot of tools all you would need is the wallpaper itself that you're going to be adding then you do need some wallpaper glue so the wallpaper glue that i'm going to be using let's see if i can show it hold it up to y'all i'm going to be using this particular brand of wallpaper glue to add to my space you can pick this up from um lowe's or home depot um yeah and then some type of spatula or something to kind of smooth the wallpaper out so that way is not to help you kind of smooth it on the wall so i'm gonna be using this i actually got this in a pack of three for like maybe like four or five dollars from home depot they come in various sizes like this is a smaller size but it also comes with two medium sizes as well and then also you would just need a i'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can see you would need a little pan or dish or whatever to keep your uh glue in then you need a roller because we're going to be applying this to the wall so you're going to be needing a little roller i got this little small roller is what i'm using it already has a little bit of glue in there but um because i was testing it out a little bit so this is what you would need this is all the materials you need and like i said here's the other that little scraper kit that i got or that little it's called anvil i'll have a link in the. it's called anvil i'll have a link in the description box but yeah this just help you kind of smooth everything on the wall you obviously would need some type of ladder or something to you know stand up there and put your wallpaper up um, I do have my floors taped off of this old shower curtain here just because I didn't want to get any glue or anything on my floors. All of Ever's wallpaper mur murals come pre-cut and come labeled. So all they come in these long strips, as you can see here, and everything is labeled. So all you do is just follow the number to go on your wall. You want to start with the first one and then you go down the line. So it's really simple. Um, they kind of lay it out with you. They also even came with some extra strips or pieces if you may need extra um, for your space as well. So, so this is how the wallpaper comes pre-packaged. Everything is securely wrapped up so that your mural is not damaged. So I'm just going to take my scissors and unwrap all this foam from around it. And then this is the picture or this is how the pattern looks that I've chose. I absolutely love the color schemes that it has in there. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, y'all. So I bought a small little thing of that same uh, wallpaper that I just showed y'all in the previous clip. 
And obviously this is not enough of this big, huge wall, so I had to go get some more, but I'm gonna use up this and add this in here and um, get this on the wall. So how this wallpaper is supposed to be applied, you wanna take your wallpaper glue and apply it directly onto the wall and not the wallpaper itself. So what you do, you see me doing here is just taking my roller and I'm just rolling out, pretty much trying to estimate where the sections are gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a generous amount of glue so that the wallpaper will be able to adhere to the wall pretty well. Now, like I said, every wallpaper does pre-cut and pre-label everything for you so it makes it install it makes installing your mural very simple all you do is just start with we'll start with section number one and then so forth so that's what i'm going to do here the first section i actually did go ahead and cut off the access already so that's why you see it's not labeled at the top but that first piece is always the hardest to get on because you want to make sure your everything is leveled and even and i did went ahead and just leveled everything out or made sure everything was leveled and um, even so that everything else would line up just perfectly. Now, like I said, you do have to, this murals, the murals that they provide are custom made. So you do have to provide the exact measurements of your wall space so that they will make your murals specifically for your wall. Now what I'm doing here is taking this little spatula thing that I got from Home Depot and I'm just making sure that the paper is pressed against the wall nicely and just making sure there is no air pockets or bubbles or anything like that so that the wallpaper is securely attached to the wall. Now I did have a little bit of problems with the edges of the wallpaper because for some reason I didn't have enough glue on the edges. So what you see me doing here is just taking my little roller and then gently lifting up those section and then going in and adding a little bit more glue around the edges and then around the bottom of the wallpaper just to make sure everything is secure to the wall. Now this glue does dry on clear, which I absolutely love. So if you accidentally get a little bit of glue on the front of the mural it actually wipes off pretty easily i just had a i do have a sponge with some wet water in there just to kind of wipe off any excess and i also have a dried microfiber cloth to kind of wipe it off as well but my paper is matte so you don't really see any um glue stains or anything like that but if your paper is mainly shiny or something like that you definitely want to make sure you don't get any of this glue on the front part of your mural So I'm just going ahead and apply the glue to the second part of the, well, applying the glue over here so that I can go ahead and add the second panel to the wall. And then this wallpaper, this glue is actually pretty easy to work with. Like I said, is that you have to use a lot of the glue in order for it to adhere to the wall. But I do like that if you make a mistake, if you need to reposition a wallpaper, it's fairly easy to move it and manipulate it without it damaging the, the uh, mural itself.
Okay, you guys, so this is how the wallpaper has turned out. I did went ahead and just put up the existing panels that was left on my own because it's just, is a process. So I don't want y'all to see me watch, doing a whole video of actually putting all these panels on the wall because it took me at least a couple of hours to even get this wall done. So yeah, but I'm loving how everything turned out. It's really, it turned out really nice. It is some parts where I cut a little bit of too much off. So I'm gonna try to go in and I got some extra paper that's left. As you can see here on my day, everything's a mess, but I got some paper that's left and I'm gonna try to see if I could fix the pieces that I actually cut off a little bit too much. But yeah, I only issue I had with applying this wallpaper is one, it takes, um, I did it by myself. You don't, you can actually get it um, you can actually install it by yourself. You don't need a second person. A second person would be helpful if you did have a second person to do it with. Only My only problem is, with, is that the glue that I use is that Roman. And I think it's Roman, what is it called? Um, a 5A3 or something like that. That's the only wallpaper glue that I've seen at Lowe's and Home, and, and Home Depot. So only thing I don't like is that wallpaper glue is really hard to, it's easy to work with, but it dries fast is number one. And number two, you need a lot of it to add to the wall because a thin layer on there is not gonna cut it. It doesn't hold the paper at all. This paper is very thick and I believe it's non-woven. So it just takes a lot of glue. It's not the paper, but the glue just, you need a lot of the glue for it to stick. Let me just put it like that. I need a lot of it. So I had, I bought that big thing that I showed y'all in the beginning of the video. And I think I used almost uh, a half a gallon, a half of that glue. So of that, um, I used about half of it to get this wall done. So that's the only thing I didn't like about that. It just takes a, time, a lot. And then even when I did go ahead and finish getting the glue, getting the panels to stick, um, some of the seams were still coming up. A fine brush, one of those little painter's brushes, and actually, um, you know, kind of added some glue on the sections that were lifting and kind of got them to seal that way. I do love that, um, I do love the pattern. I love how the seams and everything match. I love the vibe that it's giving me. It's really giving me um, that look that I was, wanting, I was wanting in here. And I love how everything matches up. So it makes it, it just looks really nice. And it kind of seems like a, a seamless mural. Okay, so I did go ahead and move my accent chairs back over here on this side of the wall. I did go ahead and re-put, I mean, reattach all of my artwork and everything. And I bought my little fiddly fig tree over here in the corner as well. I am still in love with my swivel chairs. I got these from Wayfair. I absolutely love them. They actually are a dupe for some, um, some swivel chairs that I've seen online that are way expensive, so I found these instead. But yeah, I absolutely love them because they have gold at the bottom and they have that really nice teddy bear fabric, so I absolutely love it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my space and try to put everything back to normal. I'm still looking for an office chair. I hasn't, I haven't been able to find one that I absolutely love just yet. So I'm still um, on the lookout for an office chair. So I'm gonna add in a touch of spring to my space. So I'm gonna add in this gold vase. It has a little bit of silver in it too, but I had this, got this vase from Home Goods a few years ago. And I'm gonna add in these cherry blossoms. What to bring? What way to bring in spring is by adding in some nice cherry blossoms. So these cherry blossom stems I got from Michaels a few years ago. So I'm just gonna use this, use these to add to my vase. And I think I'm using about maybe six or seven stems.
I'm just gonna clean over here on the other side of my room. I still haven't decided on if I'm gonna add any window treatments yet. I do have blinds in here which are doing really good, but I might end up wanting to still add some curtains as well. So I'm still on the fence. I don't know if I'm gonna add that just yet. Okay, you guys, so this is the next day. So I'm gonna style my little sofa table in here with you all. And I just wanna show y'all, Um, this is what been, I just wanna show y'all it's been like 24 hours since we installed the wallpaper. It's still holding up pretty nicely, as you can see. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this pattern. I really love it. So I'm so happy with it and I'm so pleased. It looks really nice. So yes, but today we're gonna be styling my little sofa table. So I was looking for a small console table to go right here by the front door. So I was in looking, found this one on Amazon. I think it's at about 34 or 35 inches wide. It comes with three shelves and the shelves are glass and then it has gold finish on it. So I thought it, so I think it fits really nicely with the room. So I went and shopped my home and pulled out a few pieces of decor to add to this side table, or this uh, console table. So I'm just playing around with some looks here. I did go ahead and create a um, centerpiece as well for the top shelf because I really want to add in some greenery so you'll see me add that towards the end but make sure you stay tuned on Wednesday to see how I made that DIY. So at the top next to the candle holders, I'm gonna add in this DIY succulent arrangement that I just created. So make sure, like I said, make sure you stay tuned for Wednesday's video so you can see how I made this. But this is just a recycled planter that I took and spray painted and made over. And then I just bought a beautiful succulent arrangement to put in here to add a nice little centerpiece. And I think it turned out really cute, you guys. And then I also changed out the pillows here in my office. I found these gold ones in my stash as well. So I think it fits really nicely with the space. So these are like maybe 20 by 20, some um, pillow covers. These are actually pillow covers that I added to my um, chairs. And I okay, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you it brought you all some home decor inspiration. Don't forget to check my description box down below for any discount codes or any links to Ever Wallpaper. Thank you for Ever Wallpaper for sponsoring today's video. I thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!